Just an observation, this is the Wednesday before what should have been the Webster County Wood Chopping Festival, which has been, always been a very, very big part of my life. Um, even, yeah, I started basically being the organizer for the event in my early 20s, so it's been something that I've done for over 30 years, and I was always at it, you know, when my mom and, and, and dad were the primary organizers of the event. And so, it's been um, been weird this year, just a absolute weird. Uh, just wanted to share that. Uh, for me, this is something that's unusual. I mean, I know I went to the Champions Trophy in Marseille, France. I think it was in 2018, but the uh, that was different. Uh, you know, I was there's no event this year, and so we're not going to have any events until at least August, if I had to guess. We still have a few festivals in August that are holding strong, and they believe that they'll be able to open up. And technically, under our uh, restrictions that we have here in West Virginia, we could have had our festival, but we would not have been able to do the weeks and weeks and weeks of work and fundraising and everything else necessary in order to host it. Uh, so, you know, that's the hard part. That's the very hard part. And that's what a, a lot of people that are making decisions to cancel things months in advance are looking at is that the work that's required in order to put the event on. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it sucks. So, anyway, that much. May 20, 2020. Uh, West Virginia has been phase opening up the past five days. Uh, we having a lot of hearings again. Uh, we're still working uh, with a skeleton staff in our office and I probably won't go to the office until the end of the, end of the beginning of next month is my guess. Uh, today I'm going to be working from farm and more than likely training more than working because the amount of stuff that I can actually do remotely has become limited. So I'm probably going to have to cut back a little bit of my time. Uh, but that's okay. Um, it will be heavy once we get back full bore bore. So um, today I'm probably just going to be working on uh, technical issues with the single buck with that new handle uh, as well as a climb or two on a springboard and then racing some small, uh, smaller logs just to work on, uh, you know, exploding and everything. Uh, yeah. Two is some silver top tool up here. It's a 14 inch log. I'm only going to cut a half and then go to the other side. So basically, when I'm cutting shit this hard, I just want to work on technique. And that's what I'm doing is getting this left arm up above my ear and this right elbow tucked a little underneath, kind of like in front of my forehead or my nose uh, when I'm, before I collapse into the log. The concept behind that is, is getting everything lined up. Um, and that's also with that center recoil, which I suck at.
big 11 inch log up on top of this uh, 16 well, it's a 15 16 inch tulip so I'm gonna do my best to um, make a sure climb it's, this pole softer than that silver top tulip I was cutting before so I'm hoping I can make some decent pockets on this and then cut okay on top so we shall see I've got a 13 inch white pine. This is 40 and a half inches. It's right under 13 inches. Way bigger than a foot. So it took me 21 hits to cut this width in an underhand. See what I can do in the understand block. inch white pine underhand I want to use the uh, same axe I used in the block I think it's a decent piece of wood so uh, I want to concentrate on this long swing and try not to go fast it'll be hard on those same set of holes um, with a, about an 11 inch log on top just to see how well I can cut on top because the first one I didn't get back on the board real good so again this is about tree balls. log this is going to be a hero or zero i'm tired i'm gonna put eight in the front i'm gonna put one up one down i'm gonna up that near and i'm gonna start driving like a mother because i want to 